Hi folks, um, it's Andre and um, PJ here with a cool answer to a question we got, um, which is, um, Dear Andre and PJ, recently my computer has been slowing down a lot. I was wondering if you had any ideas of how to cheaply help my computer run faster. Thanks, Chris. Well, Chris, let's just say every computer runs slow. Um, and while PJ plays around with his little camera there, I'm going to actually... Um, Tell you Mac users out there how to speed up your computer. First of all, there's two main reasons a computer can run fast. Uh, well, three main reasons a computer can run slow. One, hard drive. Two, memory. And three, processor. The first thing is the hard drive that I'm going to be talking about. Now, right here, I have something called what size. What size allows you to um, size up your computer? Um, I use it because it helps me um, kind of figure out what I need to size down and a lot of times uh, especially with me I have a lot of applications it can help me um, figure out kind of you know what I need to do um, so it, it's really really handy um, it'll scan everything and tell you what size different things are and um, you can even do these dynamic pie charts and other things so let's do a pie chart and you'll see it it'll tell me all this different stuff of kind of what's big what's small. So right here, as you can see, I have some big movies, some other stuff, and um, I have, as you can see, 35 gigabytes of downloads. Um, now, a lot of people ask, well, this information is great, but what do I do with it? You skim down. You want, ideally, about 20 gigabytes of free space on your computer. I have about 15, so I, I need to skim down. But that's one one program you can use for Max. Now, I'm going to bundle um, processing speed. There's really not that much you can do. Unless you want to pay a lot of money to upgrade your computer, processing speed, you just can't do that much with. And with hard drive, you can clean off your hard drive only so much. And also, you should, if you have money and you want to speed up your computer, check in with an SSD, a solid state drive. They run extremely fast crazy fast um things i would like one um and so finally memory memory um if you have a lot of applications running of course your computer will run kind of slow but um the thing that's going to make your computer run slow very fast is if you don't have a lot of memory this computer right here has about two gigabytes of memory and i have some lag every once in a while but if i were to upgrade it to four gigs which just so those pc users shut up pj just so those um, PC users know, um, you can't upgrade your memory on a PC without upgrading your OS. On Mac, you can upgrade your memory without any trouble. So those are my fixes for Mac, and now we'll go to PJ, who will talk about his fixes for Windows, specifically Windows Vista. Okay, so, um, with me for Windows and Andre for Mac, um, I don't like Mac. No, I'm just kidding. I love Mac. It's a great operating system. But let's not get into that. Um, the things to speed up your computer, Chris, um, are, there's several. Um, pretty much you can just go into Start, All Programs, and then go up to the Accessories tab. And once that loads, you can go down to System Tools. Yeah, PJ, it's lagging way too much. Just switch okay, to your um, video. Okay. And so, once you go into System Tools, you can actually go into um, Disk Cleanup, Disk Defragment, or even a System Restore, which will restore back to a later date, if you made a restore point. Now, what Disk Cleanup is going to do is clean up your actual um, disk space, so um, every single partition there is and stuff like that. And Disk Defragment actually gets rid of the um, files that are not needed or not in use anymore. So if you have files like .dll files are removed a lot, and pretty much those are just unneeded files that download with a program. Um, but your programs will still work fine, although they are really removing things that are not needed. You can also set um, set everything to automatically back up so that uh, later, later on, you can go and uh, do a system restore later if you uh, want to restore back. 
Um, and you want to make sure that you actually do a disc defragmenter uh, every month, and same with the disc cleanup, um, at least. So that should keep your computer in check, and you can also do this. Go into Start, then right-click on where it says Computer, or My Computer, then go to Properties, and then go to the Advanced System Settings in the uh, blue and green tab on the uh, left-hand side of the pop-up. And then um, it will ask you, the UAC will ask you for um, permission, and you just press continue. And then you want to go to the advanced tab, and then go to uh, performance, and press settings. And then there's one more thing. You need to go into the advanced tab one more time, and then go into virtual memory, and click on change. Now, when you get your... Um, computer, it will automatically manage the paging file size for all drives. Um, you want to uncheck that and uh, check uh, custom, and then according to how much space available, which it says it right above where it says custom size, um, you want to make that smaller or bigger, and you want to make sure you fill in the initial size and the maximum size. And now take note that this is in megabytes, not in gigabytes. So you're going to have to know the transformations of uh, megabytes to gigabytes. I believe it's 1,000 megabytes for um, one gigabyte. Is that correct, Andre? Ah, uh, I say, oh, this is sad. We don't even know that. Yes, um, it is. Okay, yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, so it is. And then you want to just press the set button and then press OK. And then you can just press OK to all of the... Windows that you oh, oh, no, no, no. One gigabyte is uh, 1,024 megabytes. Okay, one gigabyte is 1,024 yeah, megabytes. Go to um, HTTP E-G-R-E-T dot net slash KB under slash MB dot HTM, and that's a converter. You can use that. That will be in the description. Yep. So um, that's pretty much all you can do for Windows. You can also get a few other programs that uh, will help you, um, but make sure... A lot of spyware is located and stuff like that is located in the uh, actual program. So only download uh, those type of programs off of CNET.com or things like that. Things uh, Sites that you can trust. Trust, trust right. is a big thing. Yeah, and, and make sure you're just not downloading to download. Um, I mean, I know that... In, on my desktop, I have a folder called iRandom, and this is every single thing that I have in my computer, pretty much. All my programs. And so, that's about it, guys. Um, anything else to add, Andre? Nope. Um, just remember, as always, you can check us out at youtube.com slash intense computing. And if you have tech questions, like Chris here, don't be afraid to email us. I messed up in the last one and said, do be afraid to email us. But email us at azbikow2 at gmail.com. We will hopefully have an easier email address soon, but I'm a little bit too lazy to set that up. Thanks for watching, and uh, this is Don't PJ and Andre. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Yep. Thanks for watching.